Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your week ahead reading. It is your reading from the 25th of March through to the 31st of March 2019. Uh, for your seven day ahead forecast, and it's more kind of conversational in a way these readings are, so they're more sort of advice driven or that type of thing. Anyway, you see what I mean when I get started. For your reading, my darlings, we're going to be using... The Next World Tarot, once fast becoming one of my favourite decks by Christy C. Road. We only use one card from here just to get what the energy is you need to be focusing on for the week. So we use that deck. Uh, and then we use my, my old Mucker deck, which I love to pieces, the Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Palin. And that really just fills in the gap. So we look at the past of the situation, the present of the situation, and also kind of the advice going into the week what you need to perhaps look at doing that type of thing um we use the druid craft tarot simply five quick cards from here just look at any other energies turning up for you in the week um and we use the tea leaf uh fortune card by ray hepburn uh just to get three cards out of here to look at uh you know to look at um, some other energies for the week okay um and finally we either use the blessed be cards by Lucy Cavendish or we're going to use these just came today they're amazing uh Carl Gray Keepers of the Light um Oracle cards just to get some spiritual advice for the end of the week okay so without further ado guy let's uh let's get on with the reading then so Universe Spirit what is the focus what is it that uh, Aquarians need to be focusing on for the next seven days 25th through to the 31st of March 2019, what is it that Aquarians need to be focusing on for the next seven days? Show me. Okay, let's have a look. Um, you need to focus on the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God, that actually came up and I was using a different deck earlier uh, and I think it was Cancerians, but the, the different deck that I was using was this one, which I love. It's a new one as well this week, Tarot of the Old Path. And the Wheel of Fortune came up in that for them. That they need to focus now the wheel of fortune through uh, the christy c road deck has come up okay so you know the wheel of fortune as i explained it for cancerians i'll explain it for you aquarius you need to be focusing on expansion this week it's a rule of planetary it's ruled by jupiter i think it is sagittarius is the wheel of fortune freedom exploration sagittarius so you need to really explore your horizons here education healing that type of thing but also the Wheel of Fortune for me is a card about karma, you know, it's a card about looking to the past. What have I done in the past? What have I, you know, put my energies and my thoughts into? And what is it that I can derive from that in the future? What is going to be the payback for the things that I've done? So really the focus for the week needs to be on, you know, the things that I've put my energies into, the things I've worked hard for. The things that I have, you know, studied or educated myself on, the projects that I've started. Maybe you need to focus on a bit of a catch up. Well, what is it going to bring this week? What is it going to, you know, how are things kind of moving forward? How are things kind of manifesting in terms of the, those seeds that I built in the past? Because Wheel of Fortune isn't just about what the universe brings to us. It's about what we can bring to ourselves. So you want to be a billionaire. You want to be a millionaire. Well, you've got to make a start on that. You've got to start kind of, you know, laying down a few roots. You've got to start kind of, you know, developing and building your business or building your empire from scratch and then seeing how far along the road that you are with the Wheel of Fortune. Well, what, what fortune have I been able to amass from what I've been building in the past? So for the week, it's looking at, you know, what is our karma? What are we, you know, what what karma are we storing up for ourselves with the Wheel of Fortune, whether your acts have been good or whatever, whether your acts have been bad? I feel the focus needs to be, first of all, for the week, what karma am I storing for myself uh, as being an Aquarian? The second thing I would say here, the focus needs to be on your fortune. You know, is there something that you want to do? Is there a mass that you want to, is there a mass of money you want to acquire? Do you want to acquire a big, huge amount of money? Are you focusing on getting money this week with the Wheel of Fortune energy? Wheel of Fortune is also about, you know, taking a gamble. It's about the unexpected. It's about taking a risk and hopefully it will pay off. So maybe the focus for the week needs to be on taking risks, on taking a gamble. Who knows? You never, The thing with the Wheel of Fortune is you never really know until you try. Okay, so basically with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like you can take a gamble, but you don't know whether it's going to pay off. But that's kind of the thrill of the chase, isn't it? 
that's the thrill of kind of the journey that you're on, the path that you're on, Aquarius. Because if you don't take a gamble, if you don't try, if you don't take a risk, you'll never know. So the focus for the week for some of you guys is literally kind of coming out of a comfort zone and taking a few risks going forward. Okay, the other focus with the Wheel of Fortune is on your path, your destiny. What's your path? What's your destiny? What are you here for? Some of you guys, it might be that you come to that proverbial crossroads that we all come to from time to time. Especially if you're kind of reaching, I guess, your 30s or your 40s, guys. You get to that road, I guess, that you say, okay, I've amassed this. I've been successful in this. What's the next stage? So the focus needs to be on the next stage. It needs to be on your destiny. It needs to be on, well, where am I heading? What is my purpose in life? What am I here for? Let's uh, put down the cards from the, uh, from the um, Enchanted Tarot by Poppy Palin and have a look at what the past of this situation is. So we've mentioned a lot of things, guys, concerning this Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius being your focus for the week. And in the past, guys, what we've had is the Seven of Swords. So some of you guys, the Seven of Swords, it can be, you know, it's kind of about strategy. But if you look at this energy here, this guy's taking all of, and he's got a fox as well. So this is somebody who's quite sneaky. They're quite clever. They're quite calculating with the fox sitting next door to him. I didn't even notice that fox before. And I've had this deck for, since, when have I had it? February, I've, probably about five, six weeks I've had this deck for. But, you know, this guy, he's been quite sneaky. He's taking the laptop, he's taking the, and he's taking everything in plain sight. So he's just taking everything he's not hiding, he's showing. He's showing that he's taking things, you know. And I feel that in the past, I don't know whether somebody's stolen from you, and I don't know whether you've stolen from someone, Aquarius. I'm not saying that you've stolen anything, but I feel with the Seven of Swords in the past, somebody has been quite calculating. But, I, I you know, just looking at the card, and looking at how he's kind of been completely, you know, I'm just going to look at his face. He's smiling. He's got a smile on his face. And actually, the window... Can you see on there how the window's been broken? He broke into that window, I bet. And he stole the goods and he left. And he's smirking. He got away with something. So in the past, I feel that somebody got away with something here. I think that there was no remorse on the situation, though. And, you know, the, the window's being broken. This person entered a property or they entered some form of kind of house or building. But it... For me, with the Seven of Swords, with those, with the window being broken and it, the person, they weren't necessarily allowed entrance. This person wasn't allowed inside of the property. So they got in via a kind of, you know, illegal means, as it were, you know. So this is about being underhanded, but also about using the shortcut. Because the Seven of Swords on this guy is, on this card is, and he's smiling because he doesn't see anything to be ashamed of. I think that really, if you want to look really beyond the, you know, beyond the card, this isn't about just deception. This is somebody who's saying, I'm doing this and I don't care who looks at me with a with an air of disgust. I'm doing this it, this way and I've got nothing to be ashamed of, afraid of because I'm, I'm using the shortcut. So this is about taking a shortcut. Some of you guys have taken a shortcut, I think, with this Seven of Swords energy showing here in the past Aquarius. Um, okay. Um, and you've got the Five of Wands energy. So uh, I feel that some of you guys have tried to avoid, because Seven of Swords is also the avoidance card. Uh, some of you guys have been trying to avoid, I feel, with the Seven of Wands energy. Um, some form of conflict, fight with the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is all about a fight. It's about a conflict. The Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords, sorry, no, no, no. Seven of Swords is all about avoiding this. If you look and you can see in front, if you put the card here, this card virtually cuts out the people's heads that are looking at him. So he's just looking back at the Five of Wands. This person's avoiding a conflict by just taking... This person's taking everything that they can and because they're avoiding a conflict. But in the midst of avoiding a conflict or running away from a conflict, they're taking everything that they can in the meantime. So this person, the conflict serves their own purpose as well. So I feel in the past some of you guys have wanted to avoid some form of a conflict here. All right. Uh, but you've had to use your smarts in order to do that. All right. Uh, the Queen of Swords shows up here, Aquarius. Queen of Swords could be you, but I don't think it is. I think it's somebody else. I feel that this is somebody who's uh, difficult. I think some of you guys have decided with Seven of Swords in the past to kind of run away. Because Seven of Swords is avoidance and it's also to break free. And if you look at the windows, they're broken into. So this is almost breaking free. Some of you guys have broken free from a very kind of cantankerous 
and very demanding type of an individual, I think. This Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands, I think that you broke free, you ran away, you moved away. You know, you escaped somebody who was very cantankerous here with the Five of Wands and very demanding with that Queen of Swords. So I feel that you dealt with somebody who was really cantankerous and difficult. And I think that some of you guys thought to escape that energy. I think it might have been a person. Because I think it's, you know, usually I read court cards also as energies. But I think it's, for me, it just looks so clear that this individual uh, was, that this is an individual here. If this isn't solely on an individual, then I certainly feel with the Seven of Swords, this is all about you guys breaking free. Breaking free mentally, though, with the Seven of Swords energy showing here. Because the Five of Wands can also be your spiritual blocks. And the Queen of Swords can be clarity. So it's almost like you've been spiritually blocked from seeing something clearly. So some of you guys in the past, if it's not the case as a person, this is all about you guys strategizing, finding a way to escape, possibly some form of a spiritual block. Something to do with clear thinking. It could be something to do with maybe writing, for example, Queen of Swords. Swords energy, they're all about people who write stuff. They're not necessarily creative, but this is somebody who deals with writing or something legal or something like that. I don't think it's that, though. I think that you were breaking. If it's not, this is not a person, then this is kind of clear thought, but this is blocking the clear thought, you know? And some of you guys needing to find a way that you can kind of release and remove yourself from that energy, potentially, all right? I feel that going forward, um, Aquarius, let's have a look at what's happening. So mentally, how are you going to be thinking about this situation? over the next seven days so over the next seven days from now and going into the next seven days some of you guys mentally your viewpoint um on this situation aquarius will be the six of coins so the six of coins is all about generosity and what you can offer but it's also a card about what you can gain and what you have it's a card about money all right so this is receiving or giving is the six of coins energy so your focus is on six of coins it could be money six of coins is not always money sometimes the six of coins is getting support so your focus is going to be on the six of coins energy showing here okay um getting supported uh in a new endeavor because the ace of wands is the new endeavor and the six of coins is receiving support so some of you guys it could be receiving supports of some kind with the six of coins in a new endeavor it might be with the uh with the um uh with the six of coins energy this might be receiving money that enables you to go and kind of sort of uh, um explore a new endeavor or it might be receiving money for work that you do ace of wands energy some of you guys might do work on the side for example like a hobby and you want to receive money from it so it might be if the ace of wands is a hobby you might be thinking how can i make money from that with the six of coins energy or well, this is about receiving some sort of support in a new project or a new you know a new endeavor a new idea that type of thing with the ace of wands energy that's the thought yeah something that's going to be successful with the ace of wands and with the sun energy all right, so some of you guys, the focus right now is how do I, some of you guys earn money from my project, from my hobby, the Ace of Wands, and become really successful with the sun. For some of you guys, it's how do I get, your focus is on getting support with the Six of Cords, uh, Six of Coins, maybe financial support in terms of kind of starting some new project that you want to be a great success. And also the sun is to gain exposure. So how do I get support with that uh, Six of Coins energy and uh, exposure, the Sun energy in terms of this project or this, you know, this this uh, hobby or this this uh, thing that I'm devising here. Because I think that you've either wanted to escape a particular person, uh, Aquarius, or um, I don't think it's energy being blocked because the way that the reading goes or the right way that the reading is looking, Aquarius, I get the impression that you tried to escape problems with an individual. This could be somebody that you work with, for example. This person looks extraordinarily cantankerous and they look very demanding, all right? And they look like they can be verbally very kind of strict. It looks like, because Queen of Swords is somebody who is strict. So five of wands could be a fight. So it might be that you've been trying to escape some form of a fight with a really strict, demanding individual, you know? Um, and the focus is on how can I gain money or how can I gain support, uh, you know, for... Uh, my work for my talent the ace of wands energy something i want to be really successful in uh going forward aquarius the advice for the week and how you do this is you uh ace of wands so you've got to start promoting yourself you've got to start sending news out there you know newsletters you've got to start getting people aware of what you do the ace of wands energy ace of wands is all about promotion 
all right it's a you know promoting your talents promoting your product promoting your skill with the eight of wands energy it's also applying as well the eight of wands is so you need to do the eight of wands energy showing here three of coins could be to a group of people so you need to promote yourself probably to a group of people or you need to apply with the eight of wands for a new job with the three of coins okay showing up here um final card showing up here is let's have a look uh yeah page of wands energy a group of people oh uh, you know you need to apply to a group of people or to you need to apply for a job page of wands energy can be the media or page of wands energy is you know communicating or it's just getting out there and exploring other you know other adventures and other opportunities with the page of wands energy you need to talk page of wands is talking aquarius eight of wands is promoting yourself um three of coins is a team it's working with others it's a group of people so you need to promote your skill and also the three of coins is all about your skills and your talents so it's about making people getting recognition so for some of you guys it's about promoting yourself um uh eight of wands uh getting recognition with the three of coins you know about what your creative intentions are or about your intentions to do this thing creatively or about this new job. Page of Wands can also be a new job sort of thing, a new creative venture. Re you know, getting some form of recognition in terms of this new creative path or venture you want to go down here. Because the focus for the week needs to be on the Wheel of Fortune. And I actually feel that this Wheel of Fortune, it's not so much money. It's about change, creative, not creative change, positive change. Your focus needs on to be on how you how you promote and how you encourage positive changes to come because the wheel of fortune is also one of the cards when i spoke about karma um aquarius and what we do in the past affecting our future so the energies that we put in to a situation for example if i work in office if i worked in an office and i didn't like it and i had a problem with a boss if i had some conflict five of wands energy with a boss with a really demanding nasty individual and i wanted to with the seven of swords energy perhaps escape that energy get away from it but yet all i did was complain then that's all it would be all i would do is complain but really the week is saying that you need to focus on creating those changes for the better with the wheel of fortune because what happens with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel as well, is that because it, for me, it's very much a universal card, whether it's the universe that kind of like sends things in, like if you've got no money, suddenly you might win the lottery the next day. That's the Wheel of Fortune for you. It's random, you know, but, you know, you, it, the fact of the matter is with the Wheel of Fortune, you've got to buy a ticket if you want to win the lottery. You could sit back and say, I've got no money and then never do anything about it. You know, or you can sit back and say, I've got no money, try and find a job or try and find a better job and maybe on the way to work or shopping wherever, go and buy a lottery card, lottery ticket. And you might just win it. I'm not saying to bank on the lottery. I'm just saying it takes an action. So this week, it's about taking action with the Wheel of Fortune energy, because for every action, there's a reaction. But if you don't take any action, you can't get anything come in. So I'm going to put down the uh, video, um, my HD uh, camera onto the cards um um aquarius and we're going to have a chat about the layout just bear with me so the focus for the week um aquarius needs to be on the wheel of fortune all right you need to start creating your own luck and the only way that you create your own luck is by putting the work and the effort in if you have an idea if you are envisioning a different set of circumstances perhaps a different type of a future that type of thing, it doesn't just happen like that. You have to make some effort in order for the universe to reward you with the Wheel of Fortune. So the focus really needs to be on creating those positive changes through action and then the universe will match you and help you through that. Because some of you guys in the past, um, Aquarius, what we've got is these cards here. Uh, we've got the Seven of Swords and I feel that you guys have been trying to avoid a conflict with a queen of swords all right this is somebody who's very demanding this is somebody who is doesn't mince her words this is somebody who can be um she's not i mean she she doesn't even have to be really rude she might be rude for some of you guys but this is somebody who's kind of she has no empathy she doesn't understand anything everything is kind of black and white 
for the Queen of Swords energy. I like her, but she can be very black and white. She doesn't really uh, think that she needs to look into why somebody's done something or why somebody isn't doing something. Everything is kind of like you're lazy or you're not, that type of thing, you know. So I feel that this, you know, you've been trying to, Aquarius, you're the Seven of Swords, avoid a conflict with this individual here. All right, I think you're tired of it. And I feel that kind of the mental thought for you guys going into the next seven days will be how, you know, how do I get support for maybe a project that I'm working on here? Something I want to be successful because for some of you guys, you really don't want to have to deal with this energy with this individual. You're just not happy to deal with it. It's like, I don't want to have to deal with it. I don't want to have to deal with this person who's so stroppy and moody. She doesn't understand anything. She doesn't understand that I've been going through shit. She doesn't understand why I'm always late for work. She doesn't understand that I've not been very well. She doesn't understand that I've been going through depression. She's just really dictatorial. And some of you guys are saying, well, the focus will be, well, only if I could get financial backing, maybe the Six of Coins energy for my work here, that I want to be a successful or, well, you know, if only I could get some support in terms of somebody helping me to expose the sun energy, the work that I'm doing here with the Ace of Wands. You know, so some of you guys really are fantasizing and things yourself. If only there's an energy here that you really want to get out of. Because I get the impression that with this energy and the fact that some of you Aquarians really want to escape it, I get the impression that this energy is extraordinarily oppressive. It just looks to be a very, very oppressive energy. And I just think you really don't like it. Okay? So I'm seeing a really oppressive energy here. Sorry, I just need to turn this camera around a little bit. It's getting on my nerves the way it looks. There we go. Um... Yeah, I just feel there's an oppressive energy that you guys really want to move away from. I just feel that you're really not happy in this energy. You don't like whoever this person is. And this is almost like a dream for you. If I could get the financial backing for this, you know, this new uh, project that I'm working on. Uh, you know, I want it to be successful. If I could get the financial backing for this project, get, some, get somebody to back me on this project here, to support me on this project by helping me to expose it to others. You know, to give it maximum exposure. You know, if I could just receive some money from this work that I'm doing with the Ace of Wands energy here for me to be a success and be able to kind of leave this energy showing here. Well, that's where you need to focus on the Wheel of Fortune, okay? I feel that you not only need to visualize being successful with that Wheel of Fortune energy, you need to obviously back it up with action. Because if you do both, it's going to encourage the universe to give you more what you want. The overall outcome is all about promotion, uh, Aquarius. Ace of Wands is the need to promote. For some of you guys, if it's leaving this job here or leaving something with, you know, a job where you've got, where you're facing this individual showing here. Um, and it might be that some of you guys are actually focusing in your mind. You're saying, I wish I could receive Six of Cups energy, a new job, one that I was happy in with the Sun energy. If that's the case, if it's a new job you want, you need to start sending your resume with the Eight of Wands energy. Groups of people here. All right. Allowing your light to shine, you know, um, you know, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Promoting yourself. Page of Wands is also promoting yourself, communicating. All right. So you need to kind of like sending your resume, promoting yourself. If this is kind of like a business or a hobby you've been working in, again, it's about promoting. Promoting to groups, three of coins. Promotion, getting recognition. All right. Getting recognition with the three of coins energy. Maybe how you can start this venture. You know, Page of Wands energy is all about starting a new creative venture. How can I get venture? I need recognition in terms of this new venture or how I started up properly, you know. But nothing comes from nothing. So the week really needs to be on that Wheel of Fortune. Visualize what you want. Backing up. back. So visualizing what you want backed up with action will always guarantee some form of result. And that's where the week needs to be. All right, I think some of you guys really aren't happy in something you do, but I think it's mainly because of a person and you're just kind of like, fuck this. You know, I'm really not happy in that. Okay, let's have a look at, uh, let's have a look at the quick five cards, reading Aquarius and what the universe has in store for you. Are there energy? So universe spirit, can you tell me in five cards, uh, show me what else is coming in for Aquarius this week. What other energies do you see coming in for Aquarius this week in five cards? Show me. Right, so what you need to be aware of this week. You've got the Three of Swords. So Three of Swords can be opening up of the heart. So this can be where you're telling the truth and you're kind of like expressing how you truly feel. But Three of Swords can also be heartbreak. It can be jealousy with the Three of Swords energy. Let's look at what the next one is. Okay, we do have that. Uh, well, we've got a Queen of Wands in the reverse. So this might be the same as that Queen of Swords, all right? So this, some of you guys might be facing something difficult with a Queen of Wands in reverse. This would be an overly demanding female, 
all right, potentially, uh, could potentially be a fire sign female as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so some of you guys might be having either an altercation, a problem with a female who's quite demanding, quite bossy, she's basically the queen of swords in the upright, she shares some of the traits, not all of them, because Queen of Swords is, I quite like that character. It just depends on whether you can get on with somebody like that or not. But uh, Three of Swords, you might be having some form of an altercation with an individual here. Uh, Queen of Wands, energy in the reverse, could be bossy, could be quite demanding. For some of you guys, um, it might be with the Three of Swords energy um, and this Queen of Wands energy. Might be this person's leaving this situation. Might be there's an altercation. Maybe somebody's leaving. Queen's reverse show people leaving as well um that's the next one as well so the four of cups i'm seeing a dissatisfaction for some of you aquarius oh dear sorry uh dissatisfaction with a very bossy individual so i'm seeing some sadness three of swords energy maybe difficult communication three of swords um this could be a jealous female as well uh but i'm seeing unhappiness maybe there's an altercation or not an altercation but there might be some problems happening with a very bossy, demanding individual. I'm seeing, feeling fed up. Some of you guys feeling fed up with that. Uh, however, we've got the Knight of Cups. There could be an offer coming, an invitation. What's the next one? Uh, three, three uh, Invitation on the horizons. Three of Wands is on the horizon. This is an invitation. How, so don't worry about it. I mean, it, it looks to me like you've got somebody around you that you really kind of, Aquarius, don't get on with. For some of you guys. She's showing now, instead of showing as a Queen of Swords, shows as Queen of Wands reversed. Um, looks like it's a pretty bossy individual here to me. Um, and I feel that some of you guys are really fed up with it because the four of cups can also show somebody who's like, fuck man, I'm really fed up with this. I feel that you are really fed up with somebody here. Uh, it's not you, it's them, unfortunately. Um, you know, this person could be really causing some trouble or causing some problems for you. However, the universe is saying, don't worry because there's an invitation coming, the invitation uh, Knight of Cups energy on the horizon with the Three of Wands. So there's a, don't worry about it. Yeah, you've got an individual here that you probably don't get on with. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's in work. Maybe she's, you know, in your social circle. But there's another invitation coming. Knight of Cups is showing up. Knight of Cups is an invitation. It can be love. Some of you guys, it is love is coming. But some of you guys, it will be, perhaps if this is a work-related thing, there's an invitation coming for, you know, an opportunity, an offer coming from somewhere on the horizons with the Three of Wands. Energy showing here, okay? So he's saying to, because he's looking ahead. Can you see how he's looking there? Expect an offer. Expect. Or if that's not the case, then maybe you need to expect an apology because Niger Cuts can show somebody who's apologising. So if you're fed up with this individual, and it might also be this week for some of you Aquarians, you're expressing Three of Swords is opening up the heart. So Three of Swords is actually a card about telling the truth and expression. So some of you guys are expressing your discontentment, your unhappiness with a bitch, sorry, <laughs> with a really nasty individual here. And it might be that what happens by the end of the week, some of you guys, you're actually facing, Three of Wands is facing into, you're actually f facing an apology. If you're not facing an apology, then it might be that you're looking for an apology, perhaps, okay? Because you might, you might be opening up. Some of you guys might be literally just letting the truth spew and say, look, I'm really pissed off. I'm opening up Three of Swords and I'm really pissed off four of cups energy with this cow who keeps making my life a living misery you know um and i just get the impression here that you know some of you guys either it's to expect an apology or you'll be looking for an apology from this individual potentially okay uh i just want to look at these two together i just thought there was something very interesting in them um okay they are she's looking into the cup daydreaming okay um right yeah it's almost like you can you see look at that energy there can you see these two cards together it's not no matter where you go this person is in front of your face can you see how you look down here and her face is looking up at you see that and it's like some of you guys are just really fed up because wherever you go this woman is just there it's like you don't have any space it's like, i get the impression you feel just really suffocated by this person she's feeling really fed up but so either you get an apology by the end of the week, perhaps. Page of Cups, three of ones looking into that page of Cups. Apology on the horizon, or you're looking for an apology. Or there's an offer of something else coming to you on the horizons, potentially, okay? Um, some of you guys, if the uh, Queen of Wands, I mean, really, Aquarius, you should be... And actually, funnily enough, the Queen of Swords is you, isn't it? No, it's not. You're Libra, of course. Libra, Queen of Swords is actually Aquarius. 
Uh, no, no, what are you? Aquarius. No, no, sorry, King of Swords is Aquarius, Queen of Swords is you. So that's not you, that's somebody else, I feel. Um, but I feel that you, some of you guys have to make a decision as well with the Three of Swords to leave something that you don't like. Because Queen of Wands reverse means to leave. Queen, any Queen reverse means to go, to leave something as well. So Three of Swords can be the decision that needs, head over heart decision. So Because like, it's the head, isn't it? Three Swords, head over the heart. Some of you guys have to make a head over a heart decision to leave a situation that you're not happy with with the Four of Cups, okay? Um, and maybe some of you guys will be looking for an offer or you're looking to for an offer to come in, okay? Uh, some of you guys might have been waiting for an offer to come in, but you're deciding head over heart to leave this situation because you're not getting what you want. But then there's a cup showing up here as well, but you're not looking at the cup. You can't, but maybe it's that you just can't see this offer coming. Maybe it's on the horizon for some of you guys. It's just not there yet. Very interesting reading. Let's get um. Let's finally get the uh, um, the tea leaf cards as well. Uh, ugh, Aquarius, and see what they have to say to us as well. So, in three cards universe, what is the advice? Three cards from the um, from the tea leaf cards. What is the further advice that you have, please? In three cards. Uh, right, so one, um, two, and uh, three. Okay. Right, so the first one is shark. Take care or there will be loss of material wealth. So be careful with your money this week, guys. What's the next one? Wishbone, but a wish will be granted this week, which is nice. And finally, uh, cat, a two-faced friend. All right, so maybe that's what we're seeing with uh, Queen of Wands reversed and that Queen of Swords potentially, okay? Maybe those are the, that's what you've got. So, oh, you've got four cards. I didn't notice that hammer. That was just underneath. Taking a vacation physically or hammock. So some of you guys, perhaps this week you need to focus on taking a vacation, taking a rest from a situation physically or mentally. Uh, again, shark, take care or there will be lots of what. So be careful with your money as well this week. However, some of you guys will get a wish granted, but be careful of two-faced friends as well. All right? Finally, 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 let's just have a look at the spiritual advice for this week, guys. Okay. we use. I love using this deck by the Carl Gray. It's, it's amazing. I just got it today. Fantastic. Universe Spirit, what spiritual advice do you have for Aquarius this week? Show me one of the light keepers, please. Give me one of the light keepers. What does one of these light keepers say to Aquarius? What is the spiritual advice that one of the light keepers has for Aquarius? Week commencing 25th to the 31st of March 2019. Show me. Uh, right, Paul the Venetian is speaking to you today and it's talking about experiencing grace. Paul says, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. All right. So this is a week for sharing your gifts with grace and there will be waves of inspiration and love that will come to you this week. OK, lovely. All right. That's your week ahead, guys. If you'd like to order a private reading with me, hover above. It's either on the left or the right. There's a little eye icon and you can click into that. There's a link. Click into the link and that's my, uh, that's my website. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.